Good morning, Bishop Carroll, and welcome back to another epic broadcast. I'm Claire Weber. And I'm Diana Datu. I hope you're all having a great day today. As you know, Thanksgiving is coming up, which means it's time to think about all the things we're thankful for. I'll tell you one thing I'm thankful for. What? The fries at lunch. They are so good. That's so true, but it's kind of weird how they're all different. Yeah, sometimes they're more crispy or seasoned. I wonder why. You're in luck because George Walden did a fry review. Take it away, George. Hello, BCTV. I'm George Walden. For too long, students have debated whether first, second, or third lunch has the best fries. Me and Mr. Nance are here today to find out which lunch truly has the best fries. So now we are blindfolded. Me and Mr. Nance are going to be trying these fries that we have set up here. Adler is going to be giving us the fries. Adler, go ahead and give us the first fries. Mmm. Not bad. I think this is, this, is, this is what lunch I think it's from. All right, Adler, go ahead and give us the second fry. Mmm. That's much better. I think that's terrible. Uh, what? Mine was cold. Well, you must have gotten so the that's got, that's got to be that lunch. Okay, well, I'd say that. Uh, there it is. Yeah, okay, this one. I like the first one It's better, better than this. I, I, I didn't expect it to be better, but this one anyway. Okay. All right, Adler, go ahead and give us the third one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a French fry. That's this one. Yes, that that's is. That's this one all the way, baby. That is a true French fry. I think that's that one. That's the best fry right there. All right. That's the best fry. You know, we actually have a word from a fry expert. Let's take it away. Well, the potato quality of these fries, you can tell, they're very thin, they're very good, they're salted to perfection. And you see here, as I eat one, it's just delicious, very good. Thanks for the awesome inside look, Mr. Goody. All right, Adler, reveal it. Which, which lunch are the fries? This pile is first lunch fries. Okay, I thought that was second. I, I thought, thought that was second, second. Too. Okay, what about this one? This pile is second lunch fries. Ah. Okay, well, we got that one mixed up, but... Now those two back I mean, they're kind but of the same. But unanimous, this one was... Third lunch fries. Third yeah, lunch fries. The, third lunch fries, they're the best. Third lunch. I think we figured it out. Third lunch fries are the best. Have the fries, third lunch, they're the best. Thanks, guys. Many people may be stressed out around this time because of the ACTs. I know I'll be stressing. This is an important test, and I have a lot of studying to do. Right. The ACTs determine whether or not we get into the college of our dreams. Luckily, they've made some changes for us, so it isn't so stressful. Here's Jessica and Jason with the details. Hey, guys. I'm Jessica Schmeidler, and today I'm here with Mrs. Neville to clarify some of the things that are happening with the ACT. Uh, the new change for the ACT starting next fall is once you've taken um, all four tests, then you can take one or two tests at a time. So how would this affect super scoring for colleges? Well, if you were applying at a school that super scored, what they do is they would take the highest test from each subtest and then and calculate it and that would come up with your new composite score. So that would how it would be affected. Unfortunately, currently, I don't think there are very many schools in Kansas do, that do super score. Okay, so how would it affect um, schools in Kansas versus schools in other parts of the country that people so, may want to go to? Right, so schools in Kansas, um, I know Newman super scores, and there probably are a few other small schools that super score, but currently they don't super score. So the only real advantage would be, say, for example, you wanted to raise your math score so you wouldn't have to take remedial math or you were applying for an engineering type program and you had a, needed a higher math score to be able to apply, that would help you. It's not going to change your overall composite score since we don't super score, but it would give you higher scores to apply to maybe different departments. Okay. So. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Neville, for sharing your knowledge with us. You're welcome. So we'll look forward to those changes. I wish that test was easier, which, by the way, is scheduled for March 24th, 2020, where all the juniors will be taking the ACT. All this talk about testing is making me nervous, and when I get nervous, I want to eat. Me too. I love to eat. But we have a great segment coming up where Mrs. Diskin is planning a cooking competition to see if the student has truly become the master. This is Golden Chef. BC edition. Welcome to Gourmet, the best class you can take here at Carroll. Um, it is everything pies for Thanksgiving, personally our favorite holiday here. Um, in every kitchen you will see pies going in the oven. Look at that, that is so beautiful. 
We have an apple crumble pie over here. We have a berry pie. We have a lemon custard pie. We have an apple pie and pecan pie. Over there, another berry. And right over here in the oven, we even have the classic pumpkin pie. And at the end, we might have a little special surprise for you. Good job, everyone, on your pies. They look pretty good. But is it better than mine? Hmm. I have a beautiful braided crest over here with a BC, Bishop Carroll. Would anyone want to challenge me? I will. <laughs> what? What's on the top? Homemade whipped cream. That's true. <laughs> Who will judge us? Mark Wagers, professional food critic. Well, this one wins. It was rigged. Congratulations on being the best top chef at Bishop Carroll. Winter is just around the corner, which means our fall athletes are starting to wrap up their seasons and getting ready for winter sports. Here's Daniel Kelly with sports. As you may know, our fall sports have come to an end, so let's recap how they did. Girls cross country won both city league and regional titles and finished fifth at state. We'd like to congratulate Hope Jackson for being the 5A state champion and being awarded the Bob Timmons Award for the fastest state time. Boys cross country finished second in city league and third at regionals. They competed at state with Carson McCatherine placing fourth. Great job, guys. Football ended their season last Friday with a record of 8-3. They placed second in City League and regionals. Boys soccer finished their regular season with a record of 6-8-2. They went on to beat Mays in the first round of regionals. Unfortunately, their season ended early with a final record of 7-9-2. Volleyball finished their regular season with a 31-6 record. They won the City League title and the sub-state bracket. They headed to state and ended their season with a final record of 33-9. Girls Tennis finished 9-1 in duels with their only loss to Capen. They also placed second in City League. Girls Golf finished second in City League, second at Regionals, and seventh at State. Now let's move on to winter sports. The boys swim and dive team, they placed eighth at State last year. We also have a few interviews from our other winter sports coaches. Let's see what they have to say. So Coach Luters, I know you're new to wrestling this year, but how do you think that this season is going to go? Yeah, I know uh, we were City League, co -league, City League champs last year, so that's definitely something we're going to want to defend, and, and we have some uh, return to state qualifiers. So the kids are pretty hungry to come back. The seniors coming back this year are Tanner Manns, uh, Brennan St. Vrain, uh, Luke Larkin, Max Bollinger, Lorenzo Barless, and, um, and um, Justin Powell. We are hoping to have a great season this year. We have two returning seniors, Hannah Lanwer and Anna Otero, and have a lot of experience on our team, but we will also be a very young team, so it should be exciting and a great season. That's all we have for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Daniel. Our athletes work hard and train hard 110% of the time. Good job, everybody. We really appreciate all your hard work. You know what I've been training for? What? Black Friday. It's my favorite part about Thanksgiving. You know, you should really be careful. It could be dangerous. Oh, I'll be fine. We have some tips for this Black Friday and all the sales. First, go prepare so you can defend yourself. Then, gather everything you want to buy the day before. Then, spend the night in the fort you built. Finally, check out the next morning. Don't forget about Cyber Monday. NBA QK20 for only $49.99. I'll take it! Whew, those are some good tips. Um, what are you wearing? This is my Black Friday camo. That's one way to get into the holiday spirit, I guess. I prefer just spending time with my family. Who do you think all these gifts are for? Oh, are there any other activities you do with your family? Definitely Mad Libs. Mad Libs? I heard Adler was doing Mad Libs. Let's see if he can make us laugh. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Rosales for our first installment of Mad Libs Theater. We're going to fill out this script 
that has blank spaces in it for Mad Libs, and then me, Mr. Rosales, and George are gonna perform the scene. All right, exclamation. Holy cow, thanks for making dinner, Zuvia. Oh, of course, Zuzu Mama. Thanksgiving always is the best time for helping. What do you think, Eggface? You said it yourself. There's nothing better than fiery turkey and scrumptious tree. You know, we've been meeting every year for Thanksgiving for 24,601 parsecs. It never gets old. Well, let's stop all the chit chat and dig in. All right. Whoopee! My cookie never disappoints. The cats are so whimsical. I know, right? I think it's a little inhumane. You don't like my ostrich? It, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's, it's trustworthy, but it's not sorrowful. Oh dear. Take it back. Golly, geez, I'm just throwing my opinion. You always kick my turtle. Let's just stay calm and jump our dinner, okay? <laughs> you know what, Eggface? You're ugly. <gasps> you don't mean that, Zuvia. I think he does. Well, you know what? You can't dance! Guys, guys, let's just calm down. Shut it, Smelly! All right, you know what? You smell like a Jawa. Oh, you I'm know tired. I'm you this know, way, I'm done, I'm done with this. I'm it's done here with you guys. I'm it's 2,400. This, this happens every, every year! year. Every, every year! year. Every, every year! year. Wow, you guys should really become professional actors. Chris Evans is shook. That's all the time we have for this broadcast. Please hit us up on our Twitter if you know of a good segment you want to see. See you next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Yay.